This video explains, section of a square prism. Let us discuss this, with a problem. A square prism of base side 40 mm, an axis 80 mm long, has its base on the HP, with its faces equally inclined to the VP. It is cut by a plane, perpendicular to the VP, inclined at 60 degrees to the HP, and passing through a point on the axis, 55 mm above the HP, draw its front view, sectional top view, and true shape of section. Square prism is resting on the ground or HP, with its base. Vertical faces are equally inclined to VP. The cutting plane or sectional plane is perpendicular to VP, and inclined to HP. Since the prism is resting with its base on HP, its base shape is visible in the plan. Two vertical faces are equally inclined to VP. Therefore the edges of the square in the plan, should have 45 degrees to the XY line. Draw the plan, below the XY line. Project all the corners. Draw the elevation with the given height of prism. Projection of the square prism, which is resting on its base, and two vertical faces equally inclined to VP, are completed. The sectional plane or cutting plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. So the cutting plane can be seen as a line, in the elevation. At the same time, the cutting plane passing through the axis at 0.55 mm from the HP or base. In this case since the base edges are equally inclined to VP, this axis line also is in the same position where fourth and second edge are drawn. Mark a 0.55 mm from the base. Then draw the cutting plane, 60 degree inclined to HP. It can be noticed that the cutting plane is passing through the top base. Project this point to the plan, this will be meeting at P, on the top base edge BC. And Q, on the edge CE. The cutting plane also cuts the longer edge, for E, of the prism at, R. S, on the longer edge 1A. And, T, on the longer edge, 2B. The corresponding points should be marked in the elevation also, P dash. Q dash. R dash. S dash. T dash. The cut portion is removed. The remaining portion is darkened. In the plan, the section surface is differentiated by drawing hatching lines. Now, for drawing the true shape of the section, lines perpendicular to the cutting plane are drawn, from S dash. R dash, T dash and P dash Q dash. Draw a reference line parallel to the cutting plane line. Measure distance of point, S, from the XY line. From the reference line, mark it on the line drawn through, S dash. Measure the distance of, T. Mark it on the line drawn through, T dash. Measure the distance of, R. Mark it on the line drawn through, R dash. Measure the distance of, Q. Mark it on the line drawn through, Q dash. Measure the distance of, P. Mark it on the line drawn through, P dash. Name these points, P. Q. R. S. T. Now join these points with straight lines. Draw hatching lines in this closed region. Show the dimensions. 